this is in response to this video the agenda with Steve Pelkin his channel Pagan I guess unfamiliar with him although he's obviously a liberal uh, Billy Boy Nye is saying that creationism is bad for us and he's saying that you don't get any real scientists out of Christians because they're all basically ignorant, running around with horse and buggies. Well, last time I knew, the only ones that were doing that were the Amish. Maybe a couple other small groups. Very few Christians <laughs> run around in horse and buggies. I don't know what planet this guy's living on. <laughs> Obviously, he's uh, whacked out because... Gee... You ever been in a modern church, Billy Boy? They have all modern equipment. They know what MIDI is. Well, MIDI might be on its way out, but... They have all sorts of fancy equipment. They use... Computers. They use high-fidelity sound systems. Gee, uh, these are not ignorant people. Like you are claiming, Billy Boy. So, let's take a look at the top 50 highest paying jobs. And this is a Christian site uh, encouraging Christians to go for work as theologists, internists, obstetricians, oral and maxillofacial surgeons, orthodontists, Physicians and surgeons, chief executives, psychiatrists, it goes on and on. Gee, uh, Billy Boy apparently thinks that Christians are a bunch of, like I said, they're a bunch of ignorant louts running around horse and buggy and they refuse to allow any uh, type of uh, progress. That is horse dung. And this guy ought to be ashamed of himself as what he ought to be. I am an agnostic. I have my problems like uh, Christian preachers usually don't teach what the Bible actually says in many places. So I got some issues with it. But, uh, these are not ignorant people. They're, you know, they're uh, people who do all sorts of things. They just believe that there's a God and God created heaven and earth. They're not trying to hold any science back. That is just a blatant out and out lie by uh, Billy Boy. So, let's take a look at the uh, Bible-believing scientists of the past. And maybe a few uh, of the present. One of the self-serving arguments of modern evolutionists is that their rather arrogant claim that creation scientists are not real scientists. No matter that a large number of creationists have earned authentic PhD degrees in science, hold responsible scientific positions, and publish numerous scientific articles and books. If they are creationists and are not true scientists. And it goes on and on. So, Billy Boy, let's take a look at the list. Some of these I know, some of these I don't know. Here are some creationist scientists. Antiseptic surgery, Joseph Lister, never heard of him. However, uh, if you look at the name Listerine to, uh, for a certain mouthwash, it's easy to see where it got its name. Uh, bacteriology, Louis Pasteur, duh. 
certainly heard of him, Calculus, Sir Isaac Newton. So, Billy Boy is calling Sir Isaac Newton basically an uneducated lump. This is bigotry, people. Johann Kepler, Celestial Mechanics, Chemistry, Robert Boyle, Comparative Anatomy, Georges Cuvier, never heard of him. Computer Science, Charles Baggage. Babbage. That's Computer Science, uh, 1792 to 1871. That's interesting. Lord Rayleigh. Dimensional Analysis. Science and Discipline of Dynamics. Sir Isaac Newton. The uneducated law that uh, Billy Boy claims that he is. I'm not going to go through the whole list. This is called bigotry, in case you don't know. He's trying to foment hatred uh, against Christians. M Michael Faraday, uh, G, electromagnetics. All of our uh, electronic devices depend on uh, the principles that Michael Faraday uncovered. Here's another name that you'll uh, recognize, I'm sure, that uh, Billy Boy is calling an uneducated and holding science back. Leonardo da Vinci. Discipline? Hydraulics. Let's see what other interesting ones we have. Blaise Pascal, hydrostatics. I'm just going to go through for the big ones. Johann Kepler again. Thermodynamics, Lord Kelvin. Systematic biology, Carlos Linnaeus. Well, uh, that was one who uh, tried to chop off the... They chopped off the tails of mice to see if they can get them to uh, grow shorter with each successive generation. Didn't work. Guess they didn't maim enough mice. Alright. Notable invention discoveries or developments by creationist scientists. Absolute temperature scale. Lord Kelvin. Barometer. Blaise Pascal, Biogenesis Law, Louis Pasteur, Calculating Machine, Charles Babbage, Classification System, Carl, Carolus Linnaeus, Electric Generator, Michael Faraday, Ephemeris Tables, I don't even know what that is, Johann Kepler, Fermentation control, Louis Pasteur. Law of gravity, Sir Isaac Newton. Need I go on? You see, these are the people that, by Bill Nye's own admission, have been holding science back. If you don't recognize this as bigotry, then I just feel sorry for you, because that's what this is. This is called bigotry. He hates Christians, he hates everything to do with them. So he makes up these filthy lies about them. And, you know, I'm an agnostic, so... All I'm saying is that he's full shit. Scientific Method, Francis Bacon. These are all creationists. These are people who believe the Earth was created in six days. These are the ones that Bill Nye is saying is holding science back. Totally absurd. And like I've said before, old Billy Boy doesn't think that we... 
anyone should be allowed to uh, teach creationism to kids. And as I've said before, Billy Boy, uh, excuse me, they're not your kids. They don't belong to the state. And Billy Boy, I too am a uh, so-called climate change denier. I deny it's being caused by uh, rising CO2 levels. They're, the climate always is going to fluctuate some, no matter what we do. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. This is big time bigotry. This is the mental disorder of liberalism. And right, you know, right here I have produced uh, evidence to completely uh, show this uh, guy is a little more than a leftist bigot. That's all he is. Just a leftist bigot. Many and most of our scientists believed in God and believed in creation, and yet they made just unbelievable advances in all sorts of scientific uh, fields. This is big time bigotry. Um, you know, if you want to say it, it's a free country, you can say it. But you have to understand, this is a bigot. This, uh, this would be like the uh, head of the Ku Klux Klan getting on, uh, saying that blacks just came from apes and therefore they're inferior. Some drivel like that. I'm just using that as an example. I don't know exactly what they say. I made that up. Now, there you go. All sorts of scientists who were creationists and believed in God. And these are the people that old Billy Boy is saying are nothing more than ignorant louts. Well, Billy Boy, you ought to feel ashamed of yourself. I'm sure I can find more. I mean, this site came up immediately. It wouldn't be hard to find more information on this. It's from the Institute of Creation Research. Well, you can find it elsewhere. So, Billy Boy, you ought to get on national TV and apologize to Christians of this country. They're not a bunch of ignorant louts. Very few Christians run around in horse and buggy anymore, Billy Boy. Gee, uh, they fly airplanes. They use TVs. They use stereo systems. They use cell phones. All technology that couldn't have been, couldn't have happened without a creationist science, scientist coming up with necessary technology, in many cases. You know, such as Michael Faraday. If it wasn't for Michael Faraday, we wouldn't have an electric generator, and we wouldn't have any power, and we'd still be running around uh, in horse and buggy. You, sir, are a disgrace to the scientific community. Alright, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this concludes my refutation of uh, Bill Nye's claim that creationist, creationism is bad for us. Thank you for watching.